Hey everybody, just doing a quick video here on my Atari Jaguar. Uh, system really doesn't need any introduction itself. Pretty much everyone knows that the Atari Jaguar was Atari's last uh, console uh, before the company itself, as we knew it, uh, dissolved. Um, I have plugged in right now a copy of Tempest 2000. And my Jaguar, again, is being connected through this little device that I'm really, really enjoying. $13 on eBay. This little mini AV2 HDMI allow me to connect my Jaguar to my uh, high-definition television here, which you can see my Jaguar booting up now, and it's being upscaled as best it can to 1080p. I highly doubt it's really that, but it does give a good picture here, as you can see. But the real reason I'm showing you uh, the Tempest 2000 on my Jaguar is um, a lot of people don't like this controller. Uh, I personally always did like the Jaguar controller. Uh, I found it to be pretty uh, comfortable in your hand, but playing Tempest uh, with a directional pad is really not how it should be played, which is why I got myself a nice spinner wheel on my Jaguar controller. I have a switch at the bottom, which lets me use uh, to the left the control pad or to the right the spinner. So right now we can see again the Jaguar is playing Tempest 2000 and we hit a button will obviously begin the game and by rotating the spinner wheel as you can see here I'm making my selections so let's try a little Tempest 2000 shall we? So again Playing a game like Tempest with a joystick is really not how it's supposed to be played. You need to be able to rotate it with a good old pot type control. And here we go. Rotates real nice and smooth. I'll get captured here just so I can get the game started. All right, let's give it a shot now. Control is absolutely precise as can be. Although, playing with one hand, holding the phone uh, camera is not the easiest thing to do. Let's try this again. I would definitely recommend anyone that has a Jaguar to definitely pick up one of these controllers or make one yourself. Um, I have not done it yet, but I do plan on making my own very shortly. Um, I can guarantee you, though, with two hands, uh, the feeling of the game and the scores you will get uh, with this controller will be far beyond anything you get with the directional pad. Um, this particular controller I got here uh, I did purchase off of eBay, uh, it was like about $50, um, but again, the uh, instructions how to build them are pretty readily available uh, online, but I would definitely recommend if you have a Jaguar, uh, and especially Tempest 2000 on the Jaguar, you really have to be able to enjoy it to its fullest, and the only way to do that is with a spinner control, and uh, again, Two hands is always better than one. So hope you enjoyed this little video guys and if you have a Jaguar again, pick yourself up one of these spinner controls. Let's see if I can get a little more light on it here. 
Um, some people have it on the front, like here, and I actually prefer it that way. But there are ones now that they will put it on the back of the controller, and that seems to be uh, comfortable with some people. But I, I like having the control here right on the front. And uh, everyone enjoy some retro gaming whenever you can. Have you played Atari today? Well, I could say that I have. Game over.